Right boys, welcome back to another video and welcome back to another episode of the Leicester City Career Mode. Episode 6 now boys, we're into November. One episode from what is always the hectic month, December you can see. Next episode could be a mad one. Today though, in terms of the quality of teams, it's not bad. We have Tottenham, but other than that, I expect us to be winning. So, we are gonna jump into a lot of Sims. We're gonna jump into Guimaraes as a Sim. I think we're actually gonna start against Burnley. Hopefully take a good lead and then be able to jump to the result. Uh, watch the Sim against Palace. Sim straight past this team. We should be beating them. And then we have Tottenham. Which we're obviously going to jump straight into. But we're going to jump straight into the sim against Guimaraes here boys. Nothing else to talk about. So hopefully um, we play Roma as the last game. So I'm hoping that we're going to be able to win this one. Yeah, I'll think about it Musa. Win this one. Beat the... Gaziantep who have no points that will put us on 12 points and basically we're through them before we play Roma should be in a better position lost to Guimaraes the last time yeah 1-0 um, the lads have their pride we need to get into them um, we're as good as anybody we've just beaten Man City in the last episode um, let's not get distracted though let's stay focused on this run Let's get into it, boys. So, I want to talk about the career challenges a wee bit here quickly. Basically, lads, the career challenges, you're not going to see them now for a while. And it depends on really what they are for each career, right? Sometimes I show them every episode, sometimes I don't. Like I said, it depends on what they are. Our career challenges are end of season basically other than Schmeichel once he scores a goal in the next episode from when that happens you'll see them and it'll say you know one out of one for him completed whatever but we've got Vardy needs to get top goal scorer and Madison needs to get top assists in the Premier League we can't check that until the end of the season to see how they finish top so basically there's no point in showing them because you can't show the progress Whereas, if you're a new subscriber, if you go back and watch, like, the Journey career mode or something, or the Arsenal, the Chelsea career from FIFA 20, you'll see they were in there pretty much every episode because it was something like score, maybe if it was score, like, 20 goals with 40, each episode you would have saw, right, he's up to 10 goals now or whatever, you would have got the update. We don't need to do that now, so they're not going to be in every episode it changes throughout every career basically and depend on what the challenges are but yeah hopefully we can get the win here i've seen lads jordan pickford is not getting any kind of ban repercussions nothing for the tackle on van dyke and apparently tottenham put out a photo of i'm not sure if it was tottenham themselves or tottenham fans a photo where Pickford done a similar challenge on one of their players so last season or a few seasons ago so like he's doing this all the time like how is he getting away with it I don't know the ins and outs of that one I don't know if he got booked for that or whatever obviously ours had the complication of being offside as well but I thought it was handled very poorly We've got a corner here. We don't look to be... I mean, we're dominating, aren't we? We are dominating. And there's a goal, though. Jamie Vardy, brilliant. Yeah, we are dominating. 82% possession. Three shots, one chance. They've just had the one shot and the one chance. So, good to see us in front there. Would like a, another one or two throughout the game. Uh, can we create one more chance before half time lads put us in a really good position Vardy's in the box again Telemans has still got it out to Barnes 
oh, Vardy gets the shot off, but straight at the keeper. And yeah, we're going to just straight up resume. We are in control of this game, which is what I like to see. Puts us in a really good position, but they are clean through. <sighs> They've equalised with Duarte. Not good, lads. Not good. Why are we not capable of beating these teams in Sims? Vardy, come on. Has to be... You didn't need a pass out there, Jamie. You could have had a shot yourself, mate. Might have to make the change soon here. Um, come on. Keep that out. Keep it out. Get it cleared. Counter attack. Ayuzi Perez. Forty. No, we're we're losing out. Madison. Could save. Yeah, I'm gonna make the change. So we're gonna change to attacking and then we're gonna go team management. We're literally in attacking boys. <sighs> Madison hasn't been doing the job. Telemann's a wee bit tired, I'll bring him off. Moose is coming on. Madison hasn't been doing the job. We're gonna leave Barnes on for now. So yeah, that's what we're gonna roll with. If we don't get a goal here soon, I'm going to jump in. Not too early. But. The ball hasn't even went out of play for Musa to come on like. Any chance of creating something here, lads? It's, it's going to be a goal kick. And I think, lads, I'm going to jump in here. We need, a, we need to get a win here against this side. Here's Jimmy Vardy. Diosi Perez. Oh, what a save. How has he saved that? That was the chance, lads. That was the chance. Diosi Perez has to put that in the back of the net. Ahmed Musa. Back. Forsberg. Still Forsberg on the team. Forsberg with the goal. Love to see it, boys. Come on. Any of Forsberg, the new signing, is that his first goal? Might be. Not even sure if he's left footed, I'm not gonna lie. I took away a bit of my wrist there, I wasn't 100% sure on his footing. Moose, I think it's a weird one. There's not a whole lot of space, I thought I'd messed it up with that pass. Just hits the post and goes in. 2 1 up, boys, let's go. Forsberg, Vardy, Moose, Barnes. Into Gaia, he's offside, but that should wrap it up for us, boys. Blow your whistle, ref. There it is. Big win in the Europa League. Struggled slightly again, which is, I really don't like, but puts us in a good position for the group stages now, boys. So, another hard fought win, boys. Don't know why we all struggle against that team. Um, Give ourselves something to hang on to, I suppose. We do always struggle against them. They beat us the last time. It's always about hard work. Um, it was pretty close to it. Um, definitely weren't at our best, I would near say, but the lads weren't afraid to scrap for the win. To be honest, I expected us to be a lot more comfortable in the Europa League, boys. I did. Maybe, um, you know, maybe a bit too complacent. Probably could have contributed more. Mate, you got the assist for the winner. Don't blame yourself. You are doing bits, Ahmed Moussa. You love to see it. 74 rated player and he comes in and, you know, he changes the game. So Forsberg gets the winner there. We have Burnley coming up next in the league, which I did say I was going to jump into from the start. And hopefully we can kind of take control of it a bit. And we don't have to play the full game. The lads aren't really a hundred, so I'm gonna give Chengiz under a game. I know I'm not a fan of him, but I'm gonna give him a game. Damari Gray is gonna start. Castagne is gonna start, and then I'm actually gonna start Bankovic. 
And then who do we bring on the bench? We need like another winger or something, or maybe just a midfielder. Um, let's, we'll stick Mendy on the bench. Yeah, we'll stick Mendy on the bench. To be fair, Madison and Vardy are definitely coming off. In fact, no, let's not bring Mendy. I can see, I can see Johnny Evans is a wee bit tired. It's not that obvious, look, 96. I see these things, lads. So that's what we're gonna run with at the minute. Madison and Vardy probably gonna have to come off. Rest of the team is decent enough. Guy is probably not coming on. Let's stick Justin on the bench. So that's the team we're rolling with to face Burnley, lads. Let's get into it. Boys, Burnley at Turf Moor. Difficult place to go all the time. They're the kind of team that will beat you 1 0 or scrap out a 1 1 draw or something like that. But I'm hoping that by jumping into this from the start, we can take control of it. That's the plan, but of course. It's the Premier League. It's also FIFA. So not a lot goes to plan in this game. Bit of a rotated side too, but we'll see how we get on. Quite wide to Damari Gray. Inside the Burnley box now. You love to see it. Pulled back to Vardy. Shots blocked. Would have been a good start. Here is Damari Gray. Going down the wing again. He's found a lot of space out there today, Gray. Pulls it back. Madison, you have to move that quicker, mate. You're right in front of goal with a chance to get a good shot off. And you're taking half an hour. Here's Westwood coming through for Burnley. He's managed to find a pass. Surely he's offside. He has to be offside. He's been standing there for about 20 minutes. Don't get how that's onside. Play that again for me right now. There he is. Oh, it's friggin... It's Johnny Evans, isn't it? It would have to be Johnny Evans playing him onside there. 1-0 down at Turf Moor. And like I said, things just don't go to plan here, lads. Madison gets it in the middle. Gets it to Vardy. Damari Gray... Back inside to Madison. James Madison with a shot straight at Peacock Farrell. We haven't created anything decent in this game. Chengi's under though. Vardy. Madison. Cannot get any space here. It's Burnley playing typical Burnley style. Parking the bus and something's going to have to change in the second half lads. Lads, I've decided before we even go into the second half, changes are going to be made. Vardy is coming off for Musa. Um, at the minute, Ian Atchu is coming on for Madison, right? And we're going to play like a 4 4 2, or maybe like a 4 triple 2. But we need, we need these two, rather than playing as, in fact, they can play as cams, kind of. Although I want them more as wingers. Then Moose is going to go up top. Tillemans, you're just going to play as a centre mid. So get him behind and stay forward. And Didi's going to be the one who stays back here. Telemann's going to get forward a wee bit more. And then we're going to go pressure on heavy touch. Maybe a, a wee bit more depth. Or sorry, a bit less depth. And then I think we're going to have to go fast build up, to be honest. Spread the play out a bit. Get players forward. Burnley are sitting so deep, lads. We have to try and break this down in the second half. Chengi's in there now. Can we break away, lads? Musa. Out wide to Damari Gray. Still Gray. Gets it back across of Musa. And then Musa with the equaliser. 
Grab the ball, mate. Grab the ball. Come on. He's not going to grab the ball. Nah, he's not going to grab the ball. All right, just you celebrate. Back in it, boy. That's why I made those changes. Ian Acho and Musa, mad pace. Damari Gray has the pace too. He just stayed on. Jenny Zunder's actually done well, you know. Um, I might give him a, a wee run of games here, lads, and see what the crack is. But we're leveling this game. Hopefully, we can go out and get the winner now. Here come Burnley. <sighs> just equalised, and now they just go and take the lead again. That's absolutely ridiculous. Ashley Barnes again. Far too easy. Just Telemann's far too slow at defending there. We'll find ourselves a goal down again. Come on. Instant response from Damari. You know he has absolutely no support there. But he's done very well. Just the wrong pass. Ianacho, Musa, Ianacho. It's still Ianacho. How? Mate, how have you missed from there? No, that has to go in. I'm sorry. That has to be a goal. That's just not good enough at all. Castagne makes the run forward. Whipped in. <sighs> Cleared by Burnley. Indeed, a. To Pereira. Ian Acho, lads, is not good enough. I'm not happy with him. He might have to go in January. Because he has not played well at all. Here come Burnley. Looking deep. Oh, dangerous again. 3-1 down. This is absolutely ridiculous, boys. Ridiculous. Gray. Musa. Ian Acho, you are dog poo. You're going on the transfer list after this episode. Indeed, eh? What is that? Gray. Like, can you actually do something with this for once, Ian Acho? Of course he can't. He's actually so bad. Inacho. He can't even play a pass. Musa. You'd be safe for doing it on your own, Musa, mate. Like, look. Musa keeps the ball. How can Inacho not do that? Chengi's under. I was on his weak foot, like. We have just been absolute dog poo today from the beginning, lads. Not good enough at all. And then Burnley have just come out and ripped us apart. Ian Acho was absolute dog poo when he comes on. Not happy at all. So, lads, Christian Fuchs has been sold to Club Bruges. Finally, getting him out of the club. What I'm also going to do is, I said it, Ian Acho, dog poo, does not get a chance, another chance. No way. He is leaving. As far as I'm concerned, our backup striker is friggin' Ahmed Musa. He is the main backup striker. Chengi Zunder still on the transfer list, but I'm gonna give him one more game. Probably against Crystal Palace here, to be fair. I'm not gonna play it, but we'll see how he how he gets on, so we'll bring Under on the bench there. Let's start him over Perez. I might give him an all game against like Tottenham or somebody when we're playing. Um, because he he was actually you know he wasn't amazing in that game. He didn't set the world alight, but it was the fact that when I used him he felt better than I Ozzy Perez to be fair, so he could be saving his place at the club. I'd almost sell Perez to be fair, but He's on the thumbnail, so I'm not sure if I want to do that now. But, yeah, I could always keep him, end up making him a starter, have Perez as the backup, and that would be okay, because Perez isn't the absolute dog poo. He's just not great, and Under just felt better than him. I just preferred using him, actually. 
which clearly I didn't expect at the start of the game. I almost swapped him for Neres, but to be fair, Neres almost certainly would have been a beast. But it's clear that we have big defensive issues. And in January, you're looking at either Under if he doesn't impress, or else probably Ian Atchu now at this point, going and us bringing in a centre-back. To try and gather some... Well, we need to gather money from somewhere. It might be a case of bringing back a few loan players. I don't know. We'll see. But hopefully we can get back to winning ways. Telemann shot blocked. Or shot saved. Would have been an assist for Under there. Which would have been a good sign. That's going to be a goal kick. It is a game where we need to get another win here. I'm hoping I don't have to jump in again though. It's it's actually quite worrying that we can't really win sim games without me jumping in. Like I don't know why that's something that's happening. The pass are holding their own here. And Schmeichel comes and claims that one. Come on lads, get forward a bit. Get forward a bit please. You know, do you look at backup strikers? I mean, prob probably not. Like, to be fair, Moose is the only one that ever comes on and he does he does the job pretty much every time. He's such an absolute beast. I love him, like, but Ian Acho, that's, like, one, I think that's maybe only the second, maybe the first time I've played with him in-game. Did not meet expectations. I thought he was a bit more of a speed demon. He was just going to run. He, I thought he was going to be another Ahmed Musa. He was just going to run, shoot and score. And he doesn't do it. And that's half time. Who's doing well? Who's doing poor? Yeah, Under's been just slightly above average. But we're going to give the boys the second half. Well, a little bit of the second half. And then hopefully... They can find a way to get a win here because we cannot be dropping any more points in the league. You wonder at what point we'll have to kind of accept that the title, we're not going to be in the title race. It's not realistic. We're coming forward. Somebody take a shot. Vardy, you could have shot far sooner there, mate. You could have. I think you should have. You have to score from there. You're inside the box. You're right at the keeper. You're a striker. Under. Chingy's under was going on his own there. It's in Devardi. How is Hennessy saving everything? Not good here. Don't like this. It's in Devardi. Someone shoot. I'm going to jump in soon, lads, I think. But I should have jumped in when we had one of them chances, really, shouldn't I? Next time we get in in the box with Vardy, I think I'm just going to jump in and just take it. But hopefully we don't do anything stupid in the meantime. Which we might do. Save, Schmeichel. Come on, lads, one more chance. One more chance, because I want to jump in and take it. I'm jumping in now. I see Vardy making a run. And he has. Oh, Madison just didn't get the shot. Didn't get a good shot off. DD well won. Madison to Vardy. Vardy, you're going to have to go on your own, mate. He's won a free kick. He's won a free kick. Right, come on lads, let's do something from this. It's going to be Madison, is he the best free kick taker? Yeah. Come on James, right in the top corner mate. Oh, what a save! That was going in too. <sighs> Probably too far out and the power got taken off it. Harvey Barnes, Madison, and Didi. 
Jimmy Vardy saved. Oh, come on, lads. One, one decent, decent chance. We're getting a lot of like half chances. Don't give them one though. Johnny Evans holds off Wilfred Zaha. Brilliant. Vardy, Madison. Need you to get back up, Jimmy. You did. Just a bit too slowly. It's not cleared properly from Palace though. Vardy. No, that would have been it. That would have been it. I don't think we're going to do it. It's going to be a nil-niller. Harvey Barnes loses it. And it's a nil-nil draw with Crystal Palace, boys. The leg is not going well here. So, boys, not an ideal result. Let's see. Where does that leave us? in the Premier League. Surely not good, because we were just hanging about seventh there. We've dropped to eighth. We are five points behind West Ham. Oh my word, Arsenal's top of the league now. Like, oh my word, we're 11, we're only 11 points to be fair. That's not a million miles away, but we would have to go on a mad run. Really would. Um, do we just have just of Tottenham left after this game but that's in two days time so I might rotate the side a bit hopefully we can beat Gaziantep at home boys like come on please uh, quick sim come on this win would basically pull us through 2-1 win there we go um, Damari Gray, who got the other one? Ian Acho, I don't care, that still doesn't save you mate, you were crap in game, so that doesn't save you, but at least that's basically, that's us through now, um, Roma in the final game means nothing, probably Danny Ward dead on, probably just like who finishes top of the group. What I am going to do for Chengiz Under, boys, I still haven't made my decision. Does he stay or does he go? But I'm gonna, I'm not going to force him out, right? Now, I talked about some of the lone players, so we need to see. Yeah, actually, let's sort by financial. Um, he's not worth enough. These guys are kind of just... The only one I might bring back is Gizal. And if we bring him back and add him to the transfer list, surely a nice 3 million would be appreciated. So we've brought Gizal back from loan. Hopefully we can sell him on. That's literally the reason. If we sell him on... What's Ianacho going for? I never had a look. What is Ianacho going for these days? Um, how much can we expect for him? Seven mil, surely seven and a half mil. Surely we can get about ten for him. Get ten for him, about minimum three. So that's thirteen. That puts us up to sixteen mil. 16 mil, I would probably go and sign a centre back, to be honest, with that, so yeah, what's being said now, Chingy's in there, hope you've, now you've changed your mind about selling me boss, I hope you'll give me the chance, don't make me regret it, you might get the chance, I'm glad you've decided to put me up for sale, yeah, glad we agree, has to be done, has to be done, it's the right decision, we just need the money for a centre back, but boys, Spurs in the Premier League, they're just below us, so we really need to win this. We could go back up to eight if we win this. That's really poor, like, but yeah, let's get into it anyway, lads. Boys, final game of the episode, and it is a big one, because Spurs are actually just below us in the league. I believe one place below us, and if we lose, we drop down even further, which we cannot afford to do, because... 
it's getting embarrassing at this point. We were up in the seventh, you know, pushing for top six last episode. On this episode, we've had a horrific few games there, and we're we are fighting eighth. So, yeah, not good to see. But hopefully, we can do something mad against Spurs here. Johnny Evans wins that well. That's Harvey Barnes with a through ball. And Jamie Vardy finishes it. 1 0 up in the sixth minute against Tottenham. Love to see it. Jamie Vardy, the main man, as always, wasn't too sure about it. You know, he takes it on his weak foot, but he manages to score. Love to see that. And a huge goal, a huge, huge lead. Um, because we are not good at chasing games. We like to be in control with us the rest of the team. And we certainly are right now. 1 0, boys. Johnny Evans, what a tackle again. He has been absolutely mental in this game. Now, Telemans back to Madison. Looking for Vardy. Get some beautiful play. Madison back into Jamie Vardy. That is absolutely unbelievable play between Madison and Vardy, especially. The passing build up. This is brilliant. It's an assist for Madison, a goal for Vardy, too, which you love to see. Look at this. The fake shot and all two from Vardy are the fake. Pass. That is quality, quality football. Where was this against the likes of Burnley and all? 2 0. Oh, Pereira, you've went forward there. You've just let the ball get in behind you, but he's recovered well to stop Young Min Son. It's well won by Madison. It's not properly cleared though. What a save from Kasper Schmeichel. Spurs going to take the corner short again here. And we have defended brilliantly today for once. And Vardy. Madison. Telemans. Vardy's got turned. Oh, what a shot. What a save. Vardy getting turned there. Absolutely brilliant. It's whipped in towards him. Johnny Evans picks it up. And Iosi Perez, shot blocked. We have been so dominant in this first half. Spurs haven't been able to handle us. Half time, what a first 45 minutes of football from Leicester, boys. Here's Depay for Tottenham. They've brought him in. So Yon Chu makes the tackle. And we're going to make changes now here, boys. Um, Madison getting kind of tired. Going to come off for Forsberg. I didn't bring Under on the bench. Feel bad. Damari Gray is going to come on for Harvey Barnes. Vardy's on a hat trick, you see. So don't want to take him off. In fact, we'll take Telemans off. We'll stick Musa up top there with Vardy. So maybe he can get that hat trick. There's Damari Gray, Musa, Forsberg. Back out wide to Damari Gray. Running at Tottenham. Ahmed Musa, it's come back to him. No, he almost got a second bite at it. Pereira, that's not a free kick, go ref. Ahmed Musa has options left and right. Goes out left to Damari Gray. Oh my word, what a tackle. But it's Forsberg gets past his man. <laughs> Maybe should have passed it down to Vardy there. So the space for Forsberg go. And Tottenham might get one back here through the pie. He's gone for the chip and it is in. Tottenham have one back. And yeah, boys, let's forget. Forget Vardy's hat trick for a second. Or for the rest of the game. I am just keeping the ball here, boys. Big time. I am passing this about. Because I'm taking no risks whatsoever. There's only one minute of injury time. It's going all the way back to Schmeichel. And 
there it is. Big, big three points at Tottenham. Thank goodness, because we've had some poor matches today. It's been one of them episodes. It seems like we either have a really good episode, or we have a really bad one. There's like no in between. We go up and down all the time. It's crazy. Couldn't tell you where we're going to end up these days, but two goals from Marty. Love to see it. 2-1 win at Tottenham, boys. Let's go. So, big, big win there, boys. Madison. Um, we brought him off early today. No, he was just tired. Um, I, he won't always play. You have to take your chances when it comes, I suppose. But um, he was fine today. Vardy. Couldn't have asked for more for, for more from Vardy. Brilliant as usual. Did enough. Tottenham, yeah, gave us a few late scares. Do we need to improve defensively? Yeah. Um... We work hard in training, but we need to concentrate better in games. I would say our defence definitely isn't good. And a defender, more specifically a centre-back, is something that I would be trying to get in the January transfer window, which is not next episode, but the one after. And now we definitely need one. Johnny Evans is out for eight weeks. That's not good. The only positive from that is in terms of if we bring in another centre back, which we definitely need to now, he is a player that he's probably the one that I would have replaced. But now I have an option. Do I want to go Benkovic or do I want to go Fafana? I don't think we take risks at this point, do we? Because we're not even playing that great, so we're going to play Benkovic for now. But in January, a, a centre-back definitely has to come in. Ian is coming off that bench. He's getting sold. Um, Under might still get sold, to be honest with you, lads. And then, yeah, we'll see about what happens. Gazal has to get sold, but... Training injuries are back. We are in big, big trouble for the next episode, but we'll have to get through the hectic month of December without one of our starting centre-backs. Thanks for watching, lads. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you next time, guys. Cheers.